Hey you, yes you, are you an overthinker? Do you sometimes want to bash your fucking skull against a hard place? Do you fantasize about deep throating a hand grenade so you can finally get your mind to shut the fuck up? Then come on in and let's have some fun. Anxiety, stress, overthinking, depression, suicide, diarrhea. What's that? Everything's gonna be okay? Well, pish posh to that bullshit because I'd rather think about all the horrible things that could happen in this world. Calm down, dude. That's what they make weed for, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying that the only peace of mind that I could ever achieve is if I flog my fucking brain out of his fucking gourd. Yep, it's called life. Welcome to the club, bitch. Everybody wants you to stay woke. I say go back to fucking sleep. There's no point in thinking too much about this life. It's only gonna hurt. Be dumber. It's funner. Try to be one of those happily miserable mouth-breathing motherfuckers that stomp around this world with no fucking regard for anybody other than themselves. They're the real winners. Problem is, I have a conscience, and if you also have a conscience, then that means that you're gonna get ate the fuck up in this world. There's no way around it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're aware of all the horrible shit that happens in this world, then you're never gonna be completely happy. But my question is, if that is the trade-off, would you want to be? Let's face it, I could sink a steak knife straight into my fucking forehead to drop a couple IQ points just to live the rest of my life blissfully unaware, but I haven't. And if you're watching this, then you probably haven't either, unless you're watching this from your hospital bed while you sip your breakfast through a straw. To be someone that is emotionally open in this world is hard. There's no way around it. But think about it. If you are emotionally open, if you are consciously aware, and you're still here, that means that you're stronger than most. Think about all that you feel. Think about all that you go through. And realize that you're still here. Still fighting. Whether you believe it or not, you do exist. You're out there somewhere, aren't you? If you're an overthinker, if you're full of anxiety, if you're someone who worries, then you serve an important purpose in this world. You're someone who's willing to worry about all the people who don't. You're someone who stresses over the little details that nobody else notices. You're someone who takes the time to think about all the shit that nobody wants to think about. Which means you're basically the janitor of life. You're the custodian. Why? Because you're someone that's probably going to spend a great deal of your life cleaning up other people's bullshit. And I know it gets old, but if you don't do it, then who will? Maybe it doesn't have to be done. Or maybe it does. But what if all the people who can't be like us need us to mop up their bullshit so that they can succeed? What if there's a greater plan at play here? Listen, this overthinking, overworrying bullshit is going to drive you fucking nuts. If you're an overthinker, you're probably not an easy person to deal with. So deal with it. Your job is to be aware because we are the people that are aware. But also, appreciate why everybody else can't and shouldn't be like us. Overthinkers are people that measure twice, cut once. But there should be people who take chances in life. There has to be people that say fuck it and go boldly where we haven't been before. That's how we grow. So who are we, the overthinkers? Do we hold the chance takers back? Sometimes, but we also have their back. We are the watchers, the overseers. We're the ones who pave the road to make the journey safe. For anybody out there that's a doer, a go-getter, there's usually someone standing behind them to catch them when they fall, because they will fall. When you take chances in life, you fall hard and fail big. You have to, that's what you're supposed to do, because that's what helps you grow and learn. And that's why failing is okay. Because when we work together, we support one another and play to each other's strengths. We just need to understand each other better. And that takes effort. No matter what topical political argument that you see in the news, it just comes down to people not willing to understand each other. Because it's easier to be ignorant. So go ahead and be a dumbass if you want to. I'd rather take the pain. I'll withstand the torture because I've already proven that I can take it. And so can you.